Welcome to this quick introduction to the Microsoft Azure portal. In this video, we will walk you through what Azure portal is and give you a brief overview of the navigation menu to help you get started with managing your cloud resources. Hello everyone, I hope you are all doing well. I am Manhar and welcome back to MSFT webcast. We can configure and manage Azure using a broad range of tools and platforms. In Azure, there are tools available for the command line, language specific SDKs, developer tools, tools for migration and many others. Common tools for managing and interacting with Azure include Azure Portal, a web-based GUI for managing Azure resources, Azure PowerShell and CLI, command line tools for scripting and automation. Azure Cloud Shell, a browser-based terminal for CLI or PowerShell access. And latest Azure Mobile App, which enables monitoring and basic management on the go via mobile devices. In this video, we will focus only on the Azure portal. Other management options will be covered later in this video series. The Azure portal is a public website we can access with any web browser. Once we sign in with our Azure account, we can create, manage and monitor Azure services and resources. In the Azure portal, we can use search to find different types of services and get links for help on a specific topic. The Azure portal also guides us through complex administrative tasks by using wizards and tooltips. Once we log in using a Microsoft account, we will see the default dashboard. This is customizable and shows key information about our subscriptions and resources. When we first sign in to the Azure portal, the default page is home. We can change our default view to the customizable dashboard in the portal's settings. We will learn more about dashboards later in this video series. Click on this hamburger menu. In the portal's left-hand sidebar is the portal menu, which lists different Azure services and resource types. Azure has many more services than what's shown in this menu. The services listed here are the ones in our favorites. We can customize our favorites with the specific resource types we create or manage most frequently. This is Azure Portal Header. The portal header is a key element of Azure's website and will always be present no matter the screen you find yourself in. It includes a shortcut to the home page in the form of Microsoft Azure text logo and a global search bar. The global search bar can be used to look for existing resources or help us find a service we intend to start using. Near the top of the screen, we see the Copilot button. If our organization has made Microsoft Copilot in Azure available, we can select this button to ask questions, quickly navigate to services and resources, or to get help with tasks. For example, Copilot in Azure can help us design, operate, optimize, and troubleshoot our Azure apps and infrastructure. Copilot for Azure can also help us gain new insights about which Azure services can help with our objectives. Please note that Copilot for Azure is in preview at the time of this video recording. On the most right hand side, we will find a couple of useful tools and a quick info about the account currently used and the current directory. This section is known as Azure Portal Global Controls. These icons are always available no matter what service we are working with. Each icon gives you a quick access to useful features like settings and portal notifications. Azure Cloud Shell is a command line tool that enables us to interact with Azure services programmatically. This browser-based terminal allows us to manage Azure resources using a command line interface built directly into the portal. Select the bell icon to display the notifications pane. This gives us information about the most recent actions that have been carried out along with their status. The next three icons represent the portal settings, Azure support service and the feedback form that allows us to rate our experience with the portal. 
Using the gear icon, we can personalize our Azure portal experience and configure portal settings. A separate video will cover this topic in details. For any Azure related challenges, we can reach out to Microsoft through the Azure support button. We can also see if any ongoing health events are impacting our Azure subscription or find links to support resources. Click on the feedback icon to open the pane that let us send feedback about Azure to Microsoft. We can decide whether or not to allow Microsoft to respond to our feedback by email. Clicking our name in the top right corner opens a menu with several settings such as signing in with another account, signing out or viewing our account profile where we can change our password. Select the more options button on the right hand side for options to check our permissions, submit an idea, view a bill and update our contact information. This video is designed to give you a basic introduction to the Azure portal. By now, you should feel confident navigating to the Azure portal. With this basic knowledge, you are all set to dive deeper and unlock the full power of Azure. Ready to explore more? Stay tuned for the next two videos. That's all for this video on introduction to Azure portal and navigation menu. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Azure and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.